So I'm actually gonna be taking the YSL E Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent Laurent. That's how you gotta say it. E Saint Laurent Laurent. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Atiyah, you can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like, and in today's video, I have a get ready with me. It's like a two in one get ready with me. So today I'm gonna show you guys my flawless full coverage foundation routine and just show you how I cover up my zits because sis, that joint was like a whole nother person and needed to be paying rent on my face. Like, it's okay though. Okay, because you can't really see it right now, so that's great. But yeah, if you guys want to see what I did to get this look right here and slay my little hair, because like, what? What you saying? Yes, honey. Yes. But yeah, if you guys want to see this look, then definitely keep on watching. Pinkies up, because what? We bougie. 7 Eleven has literally. The best coffee, hands down. So I'm gonna use this sheet iron guard. It's pretty much a heat protectant and it's okay. And then I'm just going to run it through. I'm gonna finger the tangle so that it won't like pull out the hair or whatever. So I'm gonna take this ion silk drops, looks like this. And I'm just gonna run this through my hair. It's supposed to help with like, you know, straightening it and making it look silky smooth. So hopefully it does that. Cause this is my first time trying it. But I always see like Abby, if you guys don't know who Abby Nicole is, I always see her and her hair be looking like silk, sis. Like it looks like really shiny, really wavy, really just smooth. So yeah, I think she uses like something like this. I got a new flat iron and I really like it. But I'm gonna do the comb. The chase method, that thing is what it's called. So, get my little comb. And yeah, so this joint can be real smooth and stuff. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pass it through one more time. I want bone straight here, like bone, bone straight. Oh yes. Oh, what's a little hat? So this is a wig from Diva's Wigs. I heard a lot of good things about Diva's Wigs, so I wanted to give them a try. And I got a petite um, wig cap, and I guess my head is just too big because it's a little small. Like the frontal is small, the cap itself is not small, but like the frontal part is a little small. So I had to finesse it a little bit. But yeah, I really don't do good on frontals. Closures, it's like easier for me because it's just one little section, but you have to do the whole section, your whole freaking forehead. And it's just like, it's not that easy for me. The lace is great on this wig. The only thing I really don't like is that it's kind of thin. Like this is one side of my hair. That's the only thing I don't like. It says it's 180% density. I don't know what the heck that means, but obviously it ain't that dense. I don't really mind that. The only thing that I really don't really care for is that it tangles a little bit and it sheds. So yeah, that is that. But I love how the toner came out. I used, well, I got 613 hair and I used T15 to get this like hair color. And I'm actually going somewhere tonight. And you guys, today is me and babe's anniversary. We ain't doing nothing with like just us. We're actually going to a Friendsgiving today. My friend is having a Friendsgiving at her house. That's goals right there. You feel me? I'm trying to be like that. I'm trying to move into a house. So I am finished with straightening my hair and I like how it looks. And this wig is a 360 frontal, so it goes all the way around the parameter of my head. It's a lace, but I really don't me, you know, putting it up in a bun or something unless I have like my hairstylist do it because she be doing a thing, you know what I'm saying? She be doing it. Also, if you guys want to get this hair, I'll leave it, of course, in the description box below for you guys to check out. And they are having a huge sale on Black Friday, Thanksgiving, around that time. So check them out. This wig has like 
three or four clips in it and it also has like an adjustable band in the back so if you need it to be tighter you can make it tighter this is a side where it really don't fit i think it's just because i have like a five head that's why my frontal ain't fit in how it should because I got a big boy head. So yeah, I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base because it's lit like a bitch. Y'all already know. If you don't know by now, sis, I love my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm using it a lot more today because my skin is dry. I literally just um, moisturized my face like two hours ago and it feels dry and it could be because i've been drinking coffee all this week but i really doubt it because eh. and then i'm gonna take my angel veil primer by nyx and we're really gonna use not that much of this but enough to really blur out my pores because y'all see these face demons so you really want to focus it there because I want to blur that out really well. But update, my skin cleared up the eczema on my like jawline. It's gone now, so that's good. But now, <laughs> got this. So I'm actually going to be taking the YSL E Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent, Laurent. That's how you got to say it. E Saint Laurent, Laurent. And this is the All Hours Foundation. And this is in Warm Bronze. And then I'm also going to take D10. Y'all know I love me some kind of girl. True blend met me. And we need this to be full coverage. So... That's why I'm doing all of this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And this is a Sonia Kashuk um, beauty sponge. I love this sponge. So now I want to highlight my face. So I'm gonna take the NARS. This is the Soft Matte Cream Concealer. And this is in Caramel. Everything will be listed in the description box below. So I'm gonna stop saying like what I'm using and stuff because it will be down there for you guys. So if you wanna know what I'm using on my face, then definitely go check out my description box. But I wanted to be very chiseled because I mean, as y'all can see, I am losing weight and I am on a journey to lose weight. But I'll talk more about that in like a separate video, but I am on like a journey to lose weight and stuff. But right now your girl is still like a little thick. I'm gonna just call it thick because that's what I am. But yeah, I'm just gonna go around my whole face and really contour this baby out. Skin team my forehead because your girl got a 10 head and chisel out these cheekbones. Can't keep her man off my Instagram, sir. So I feel like I wanna highlight just a little bit more just cause I wanna like really, you know, make these niggas gag. So I'm just gonna highlight just a little bit right up in here under my eyes and right here. All right, let me go ahead and set my face. This is really gonna make it look really flawless, honestly. So now I have to set my contour area. So I'm gonna take the Black Radiance. This is the Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm gonna set my face using contour. And this is also gonna warm up my face as well. And then I just wipe off my setting powder. Cause I really don't like to bake. And I don't like to bake because it makes my face look a little cakey. But I still leave it on there. I just don't bake like for five minutes and just let it sit on my face. Okay, so brows are done and I am going to get started on my eyeshadow. So I am going to take the Pat McGrath Mothership Bronze Seduction Palette. And if you guys have not seen my review on this palette, definitely go watch that. So I'm gonna do like a rose gold cut crease and I'm gonna take this color. I don't know what the color is called cause I forgot. Yeah, 
I'm gonna take this nice like brownish color and I'm just gonna pop this right on my lid. And then I'm gonna sweep it going up. I want it to be like dramatic a little bit because that's just how I'm feeling this holiday season. You feel me? And then you guys know I like to fan it going out. If you don't know, that means you're not subscribed. So subscribe to my channel. Be a part of the gang, gang, gang in this bit. But yeah, so just gonna work that in and I'm working it into like my contour shade because it just looks so much better when I do it that way. I'm also gonna take it under my eye as well and kind of connect it to that shadow that's on the inner, I mean the outer corner. Just gonna connect it to it. I'm taking that same color by the way. Same color and put it right under my eye. So now I'm gonna take the darker brown and a little tiny bit of the purple and I'm gonna put this right on the outer corner. So I can kind of make like a nice little brownish purple on the outer corner. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks good, bitch. Wow, uh, yes. I like that. I'm trying to keep it like right on that outer corner. I don't want it to really go up any further. All right, so now I'm going to cut my crease out. I'm gonna use some concealer. Almost spilt it. I'm so clumsy. Yeah, I need daylight savings to end like now. It's freaking annoying. The sun be going down at like four o'clock. All right, now time for the shimmer. <laughs> I am just gonna pack this on. I didn't spray it or anything. That thing is looking real good. Like real, 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 real good. And then I'm gonna put some of that brownish shade like on the outer corner of where the shimmer and that darker color meets. Right there. A little bit of that purple and smoke out the um, lash line, the lower lash line, my waterline just a little bit. So I'm actually going to create a wing today because like I said, I'm feeling the drama and I want it to be really dramatic. Not really, really, but like a little dramatic. Every time I go for really, really dramatic, it's like it always ends up a little natural, so. I kinda made my, my wings look a little bit more like sisters instead of stepsisters. Meh. Mm. Yeah, you're okay. But I added some uh, mascara too because y'all, my hand was literally shaking. Like, it still kind of is shaking right now, but we just gonna push through. So I'm gonna add my lashes. These are in Sunny. And yes, these are really nice, thick lashes as you guys can see. I haven't used this highlighter in so long. This is the M. Resi highlight with um, what's their names? Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used it in so long. It kind of matches the transition color I used on my eyes, this uh, lip pencil. I'm gonna take my eyeshadow pomade from ColourPop and I'm just gonna make some little freckles. And I'm gonna turn my zit into a little beauty mark. I say little, this thing is not little. That thing is huge. All right, so then to finish everything off, I am going to spray my face with the CoverGirl Look Lock Up Setting Spray. And yeah, and I'll be done. So I need some hydration. So I'm also gonna add the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. Summer's mine. I swear I said it about a hundred times. I'ma need it back. Wish you would come and find me. Just to tell me that I haven't changed. Boy, I need it back from you. I'm getting money just taking care of me. 
Alright y'all, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys recreate this look, definitely tag me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you do it. I'm not on Facebook, so you don't gotta tag me on there. But if you're on Instagram, definitely tag me. Follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. It is all in the description box below. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel and be a part of the gang. I would love to have you a part of my little family on here or whatever. And turn your post notifications on because YouTube do not be letting y'all know when I upload. And sometimes it be like unsubscribing y'all to me. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.